Over the course of her successful Hollywood career, Uma Thurman would instead reside on the East Coast for the most part. She has owned a unique mansion in New York City back when she was with Ethan Hawke as well as a historic apartment in Gramercy Park, which she lived in for much longer. And now, Uma has a place of her own in Manhattan, more specifically in Sutton Place. Uma Thurman as an American actress arguably most famous for playing the iconic role of the bride in Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill Saga. After getting noticed by a talent scout while acting in a school production of The Crucible, Uma wound up appearing in issues of Glamour and Vogue before transitioning into acting in the late 80s. In 1988, she'd star in three films, one of which was her breakthrough role in Dangerous Liaisons. Then she'd meet Quentin Tarantino and he would transform her into a full-blown movie star with the help of his film Pulp Fiction. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. And Mia Wallace, well, that was my favorite Uma character. I even have a tattoo of it. Sometime later, Uma would meet and marry actor Ethan Hawke. Together, this couple bought themselves a distinctive mansion located in Sneedon's Landing in New York City, a home that dates all the way back to 1750 and goes by the very strange nickname of Ding Dong House. However, the couple wouldn't stay there for long, and only a few years later they were moving into a pre-war apartment building in New York's Gramercy Park, a spot Uma would call home for the next 10 years. But by 2013, Uma was once again single and looking for a place of her own. She found it in her current Manhattan residence, an elegantly proportioned home located at the River House in Sutton Place. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the homes of Uma Thurman. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. first place that Uma Thurman and her former hubby Ethan Hawke bought for themselves as a couple was a home that's known around New York City as the Ding Dong House. Together, they scooped this space up in 1998 for a reported $4.4 million. And for all that money, they secured themselves a home with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a ton of history. The story goes that this home was built back in 1750, over 270 years ago. Originally constructed as a pre-revolutionary war Flemish farmhouse colonial. This property was then expanded in the 1860s and built in three sections, all of which offer big views of the nearby Hudson River. Since then, the property has been lived in by artists of all types. I'm talking actors, sculptors, choreographers, and a whole bunch more for quite literally hundreds of years. Even Margot Kidder, who once famously played Lois Lane in the Superman films, lived here for a short period of time. As for the home's one-of-a-kind name, Ding Dong House, it stems from how the property used to feature a once prominent bell tower, which people could swear they still heard ringing even long after the bell tower was eventually torn down. According to former online listings outside of its historical value, the home also offers a living room with a ton of windows and wooden floors, as well as a classic looking chandelier hanging from the ceiling. The kitchen is any home cook's dream space, boasting a ton of open space and at least one of every appliance you can think of. Of. Nearby, you'll find the combined den and dining room area where you can either enjoy your feast by the fire or dine at a long wooden table. As for the exterior, the primary selling point is the property's sweeping views of the Hudson. These can be taken in from a large rear porch that overlooks a garden with a stone patio, as well as a pool slash entertainment area with a private lawn. Despite everything that this home has to offer, Uma only lived here for about a year before she and Ethan sold the place for $4.6 million. Shortly after, they had found themselves a new home with nearly as much history in the area of Gramercy Park. 
Next up, Uma and Ethan moved into an address on New York's Lexington Avenue, a 12-story pre-war apartment building that sits on Gramercy Park. Over the course of the next several years and after her marriage to Ethan had come to an end, Uma would move out of the former space she shared with her ex to buy up a second property in the exact same building. All in all, Uma spent around $4.2 million to secure herself this home, which tops off at around 2,800 square feet of space with five bedrooms and three and a half baths. Her duplex is graciously proportioned with a front foyer and stair hall that leads all the way to a 24 foot large corner living room with a patterned oak floors and neoclassical white marble fireplace. It also offers an elegant dining room that opens up to a sleek kitchen, which boasts glossy snow white cabinets, a high end mix of marble and walnut counters, and a double wide central island. Floor plans suggest that the home is made up of three guest rooms and two master suites, one of which is located on the main floor of the property and offers a spacious walk-in closet, as well as a compact Jack and Jill style bathroom that's shared with another nearby bedroom. The second level of the home offers two more bedrooms, plus the second master, which boasts a Turkish steam bath as an additional bonus in its ensuite alongside heated floors. In terms of the exterior, there are double French doors in the dining room that open up to a large terrace, which offers views of grand Mercy Park. Best of all, whoever owns this house receives a key to that very park, and you can't gain access without it, making this one of the most exclusive places in all of New York City. After living in this building for 15 years total, Uma finally decided that it was time for a change of scenery. She listed her longtime home in 2016, and it only took her about six months to find a buyer who was willing to pay above the asking price to the tune of $6.6 million. Afterwards, Uma headed off to her new home in Manhattan. Uma Thurman purchased her current sprawling Manhattan residence in 2013 for $10 million, a major discount from the nearly $19 million the former owner, romance novelist Barbara Taylor Bradford, was asking for. Known as one of New York's most exclusive co-op buildings, River House is located in the swanky but somewhat isolated Sutton Place neighborhood in Midtown Manhattan. Listing information from this residence is largely taken from the period of time just before Uma moved in. So it's likely that she's changed quite a bit of it around in terms of decor, but that's probably all that's really changed for the most part. This home measures in at 5,310 square feet and is said to include four bedrooms as well as four and a half bathrooms, plus a sizable staff suite, which is comprised of three more bedrooms, a single washroom and a large laundry room. A private elevator landing opens to a front foyer, which in turn leads to an 18 foot wide living room with windows overlooking the East River and walls upholstered in cream colored silk. There are also polished hardwood floors underfoot and a fireplace. Next to this is a bar room with a built in wet bar constructed out of mahogany and a brass foot rail alongside a trio of stools which appear to have been built in. Over in the living room there's a library on one side with an accompanying fireplace while on the other side is a crimson colored dining room with views of the East East River. There's also an antique crystal chandelier hanging down from above as well as moldings with a treatment of brown paint and gold leaf. Other rooms spread throughout this property include a blue colored sitting room and an extended hall from the foyer leads to the three bedrooms, which prior to Uma moving in had been used as a dressing room, an office, and a den fitted with a bunch of built-ins. In the master suite, it's complete with an oversized bedroom with cherry red carpeting, some Thing I'm sure is long gone by now, while the ensuite is accessed through a nearby dressing room with its very own crystal chandelier. Despite buying this property in 2013, Uma didn't actually live here until after she sold her former apartment in Gramercy Park. During the nearly three years in between, Uma spent a significant amount of money remodeling her river house abode. Then in 2016, she finally moved in. Back in 2018, there were rumors that she was looking to sell the place, but it doesn't appear that she ever followed through with those plans. By all accounts, Uma still lives in this gorgeous residence to this day. Well, that's going to wrap up our Uma Thurman house tour. Let me know what you thought about her New York homes down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!